Hi, my name is Bismarck Boa, traditional doctor Bismarck Boa, aka Waseniba. I'm a proud licensed traditional medicine practitioner with my license from Traditional Medicine Practice Council, TMPC, and the Ministry of Health. And I'm a member of Ghana Federation of Traditional Medicine Practitioners Associations, GAFTON. Check me out on Facebook, Waseniba. W A S S A hyphen N I I B A or Waseniba Herbal Solutions. Today we are talking about gonorrhea. What is gonorrhea? What causes gonorrhea? Who and who can get gonorrhea? What are some of the symptoms of gonorrhea? What are the complications of gonorrhea? How do we avoid gonorrhea? And finally, what is the treatment for gonorrhea? Be with me within this next few minutes as we go through this topic. Share this video to any page that you think people will benefit, both men and women. Share it on your WhatsApp groups. Thank you. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted bacterial infection caused by the bacterium Neisseria gonorrhea. It can affect both male and female. It can even affect babies. Gonorrhea is usually transmitted through sex, being it oral sex, vaginal sex, or anal sex. When a woman is pregnant and she's giving birth, if she has gonorrhea that has not been treated well or been treated well, the baby in the process of in the process of delivery can contract that infection and it can even affect the eyes. Now let's talk about what part of the body can get affected by gonorrhea the genitals obviously when we talk about the genitals we are talking about the penis the, test the testicles of the man we are talking about the vagina we are talking about the cervix and even the tubes the Philippian tubes of the woman now the other parts of the body that can, can be affected by gonorrhea are the eyes the throats the rectum and the joints we will talk about that later but now for now let's talk about the signs and symptoms of gonorrhea when a man has gonorrhea what are some of the signs that the man will see or feel one you will feel pain when you are urinating two you will see some yellowish or whitish discharge from your penis and the discharge is like pus pus p-u-s passes when you have a boil and the, you break the boil or you burst it the fluid that comes out is what we call pass or you can also have discharge and itching at your anus or rectum and then sometimes you can also have pain in one of your testicles or both testicles and it can be swollen too when a woman has gonorrhea what are some of the signs and symptoms that the woman will feel one painful urination two blood coming out of the vagina or vagina bleeding in between menses this means that even when you finish your menses before you get the next one you'll be seeing some small small blood coming from your vagina it doesn't mean that all the time it's gonorrhea but this is some or one of the signs of gonorrhea and then with this too sometimes when you're having sex you can have blood coming out of the vagina during sex or right after sex when a woman has gonorrhea she can have pelvic or abdominal area pain the woman can also have increased vaginal discharge discharge that looks like pus now let's go into details the other parts of the body that can be affected by gonorrhea we talked about the eyes if the eyes are affected by gonorrhea it can be painful it can be very very sensitive to light initially you can look at light very well now you look at light and your eyes is burning you can also have a discharge from your eyes apart from the eyes your throat can also be affected by gonorrhea you can have sore throats which is obviously painful and this can cause swelling of the lymph nodes around the neck apart from the throat we can also have symptoms at the rectum Somebody asked, where is the rectum? 
When you look at the anus or the anus, when you are going up, right from the anus up into the body, the next thing from the anus is the rectum. You can have discharge, which which is like pus. You can have itching, and sometimes you can see blood stains in your T row when you visit the WC. These are signs that gonorrhea can produce. Apart from the rectum, <clears throat> the joints, yes, your joints. Somebody is surprised. How can gonorrhea affect your joints? Yes, gonorrhea can affect your joints. When your joints, one or two joints are affected by gonorrhea, we call it septic arthritis. It's painful, especially when you move the joint, you feel a lot of pain. Your joints can be, <clears throat> can show normal signs of inflammation, which is redness, your joint feeling warm, becoming swollen and painful. Then the next thing we want to talk about is what are some of the complications of gonorrhea? We've talked about the fact that when a woman is giving birth, she can pass it on to the child or the baby and usually it can affect the baby's eyes. It can cause sore on top of the scalp of the baby. It can even make the baby blind in, a, in extreme cases. It can also cause male and female infertility, yes. Somebody who asks, ah, but was any, but how can gonorrhea make me infertile or impotent? Yes. The testicles produce the sperm and they are stored in the epididymis. Gonorrhea can affect these two places, the testicles. That is why I said your testicle can become swollen and painful. And gonorrhea can affect the epididymis where the sperm are stored to mature and be released. So if the storage area of the sperm is being affected, that means the sperm can be affected. And if your sperm is affected by gonorrhea, there are chances that your sperm wouldn't be healthy. If your sperm are not healthy, there are chances that it can't fertilize an egg. That is impotency. So you, now you've, you, you understand the explanation. Then somebody will say, ah, but how can gonorrhea cause infertility in humans? Yes. Since the female reproductive tract is connected, from the vagina, you pass through the cervix, you go to the uterine space, you go to the fallopian tube, you go to the ovaries. The, the infection can travel along the, 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 the tracts. So the infection can affect the cervix, it can affect the tubes, it can even affect the ovaries. When your tubes are infected, I mean the fallopian tubes are infected, they are inflamed, they can get scarred. Scar, that means and when it, become, when it becomes scarred, it becomes rough. And this can cause blocking some way of the, of the tube. And this can cause complications in pregnancy. You get it. So this is the explanation for it. Now let's talk about how to avoid gonorrhea. It's simple. We talked about the fact that gonorrhea is simply transmitted through sex. Apart from, <coughs> apart from the, baby, the, the mother baby situation. Almost all of the cases are transmitted through sex, either vaginal sex. The vaginal sex is the normal sex most of us, most of us have, the penis to vaginal sex, or oral sex. We all know oral sex, or anal sex. So, first step, you should avoid sex. And I know most of you listening to me, you can't avoid sex. So the next thing is to to protect yourself using a condom. If you cannot protect yourself, then your only option left is to be in a, a mutually a mutually monogamous relationship what does that mean it means that you the man make sure you are not going for a side chick you the woman make sure you are not going for a side guy all the two of you should be so faithful to yourself and the two of you should make sure you are not having gonorrhea these are some of the things that you should know or almost all the things that you should know about gonorrhea once again, my name is traditional Dr. Bismagboa, a.k.a. Waseniba from Waseniba Herbal Center, Kumase. My WhatsApp number is 055-780-9498.